Let's talk a bit more about sharing now. Quite often you may want to share materials with other Mendeley users or even collaborate directly on a particular paper. Here in the School of Humanities, we have created a group which contains an entire reference library arranged in folders for subjects and even individual modules. You may create your own personal library from the subjects you are studying. Groups are Mendeley's solution to the problem of collaboration. They allow you to come together with other users and share resources. If you've already created or joined groups, you'll see them listed in the left-hand panel of Mendeley Desktop underneath your personal folders. To add materials to a group, just drag and drop them into the group name. You can create new groups at any time by using the Create Group option. The process is quick and easy. Mendeley offers three types of group. Open. These groups are publicly visible and accessible to everyone. They will be listed in the groups directory on the Mendeley Dep website. Members can add references to the group, but only the reference details will be added. Invite only. These groups are publicly visible, but membership is controlled by the group administrators. Anyone can follow the group to access the references, but only full members can add or edit references. Your references for the School of Humanities is this type of group. Private. These groups are not publicly visible. Members need to be invited. Members can share full text papers with each other and can also collaboratively highlight and annotate on these materials. Private groups, like all groups, offer the ability to communicate with other members via messages posted to the newsfeed. You'll also receive notifications when new resources are added. Each post on the group's newsfeed creates a discussion thread, allowing you to comment on other members' posts. You can open papers shared with the private group using the Mendeley PDF Reader. Any highlights and annotations you add to the group version will be visible to other members of the group. Each contributor will be assigned a colour to help distinguish their changes. Add notes or highlight particular passages to draw your collaborators' attention to particular sections of the paper. You can also browse popular public groups by subject to locate popular groups associated with each topic. Joining public groups is also a good way to connect with other Mendeley users who are active in your field. This can lead to collaboration and sharing of resources. Completing your Mendeley profile, profile is a great way to promote yourself and encourage others to get in touch. You can also use your profile to share your interests and publications across the world. When viewing another user's profile, you will have the option to follow them, <clears throat> which will keep you up to date with their activity. You can also send them direct messages. You can use Mendeley to share your work with others by adding your publications to your personal profile. Adding publications will make them available to other users via your profile, as well as connecting you to them in the Mendeley web catalogue. If other users view your paper in the catalogue, they will see that you are a Mendeley user and will be able to connect with you. To add your personal publications, open My Publications in Mendeley Desktop and either drag and drop a file onto a specified area or click to browse to a file on your computer. In addition to groups and individuals, Mendeley also offers you the ability to discover new research. By drawing on the crowd-sourced catalogue of materials, Mendeley can draw on one of the largest resource libraries available online, one that's continually growing as users add more materials. If you know the name of a paper, 
or if you have a specific topic in mind, you can use the literature search setting from within Mendeley Desktop. This allows you to retrieve new references from the Mendeley web catalogue. As the catalogue is crowdsourced, the literature source can only retrieve papers that have already been added by other users. So if your desired result is very new or obscure paper, you may not be able to retrieve it. If the full text of a paper is available, for example, if the paper is open access, you'll see an icon allowing you to download it. You can also search the catalogue online via Mendeley.com's paper tab, Papers tab. If you're logged into your Mendeley account, you'll be able to save the resulting references straight to your library. When viewing a web catalogue entry, you'll see the option to add the reference to your library with just a single click. If the paper is freely available, that is open access, you'll also be able to download the paper. For other references, you can use the Find This Paper At drop-down menu to view different options. Using Open URL will allow you to retrieve a paper through your institutional access, providing your institution has the appropriate subscription. Finally, from within Mendeley Desktop, you can select multiple papers within your library and right-click to be able to be given a list of papers connected with the items you selected. This can allow you to discover new resources connected to a set of materials, such as items within a particular folder, and can be handy for finding niche topics or interests. Mendeley's Research Centre has detailed guides to each of the different versions, as well as featured guides that cover specific components. It's a good idea to use these guides to familiarize yourself with the different aspects of Mendeley. There are also a number of video guides available online. Hopefully we've covered enough of the basics of Mendeley in order for you to get up and running. Thanks for your time today and I hope you enjoy using Mendeley.